Okay, so I'm sitting in the parking lot of the container store and I'm just gonna go in and grab a couple of containers, probably overdo the amount of containers just because I didn't get a chance to measure our cabinets because the depth of our cabinets isn't really like that deep. Um, but because I didn't measure, I'm just gonna grab a couple of different sizes of containers. So ones that don't work, I'll either use them for another project or I'm going to just take it back, get my money back, maybe use something else um, instead. So I'm mostly going to organize the um, the food cabinet, not like the seasonings or the spice cabinet, just because that one is kind of narrow. Um, so it's going to be hard to um, try to use containers to, um, you know, do that cabinet. But I may, I don't know. Um, but the other cabinets that has our bowls and cups and things like that, I'm not going to use containers. I'm just going to kind of organize and kind of get rid of things as best as I can. And like the cabinets with our pots, pans, and things like that. I may not use containers now, but I'll probably eventually like use some containers or like um, some racks to kind of put like our pots and things like that up. Um, but I'll probably just like leave those alone and like underneath the kitchen sink, I kind of already did the organization, but I might switch it around a little bit and um, use the containers from here or like, you know, organize it a little bit different. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these boxes or containers <laughs> um, and then head back home and just, you know, do some of the organization. So I just found the aisle where the home edit has all of their things. And I think I'm about to just get their stuff. No, love my girls, the home edit. Been binging their show. If you haven't watched their show, you need to watch it. It's on Netflix. Literally the title, Get Organized with the Home Edit. They're also on Instagram, so follow them on Instagram too. so i'm back from the container store <laughs> um i didn't get a lot of bins like i thought i was just because the container store was like toys r us for adults who like to organize and i was just like in so much like shock or in awe of everything in there like it was kind of overwhelming to be honest I was not prepared at all. <laughs> uh, I was not prepared at all to go in there. And <sighs> I'm gonna have to go back tomorrow because I do need more bins and like more things for organization. So, but let me show you what I did get from the container store. So I got this big old long bin. It's an extra large um, 134 liter bin. This is just for our um, storage unit. Um, we're going to get a storage unit and put some of like our old stuff or like some of our like um, winter stuff, um, like our jackets and like, you know, just some winter clothes that we're not wearing or using anymore. Um, we don't have space here in the house like that. So um, that's what we're going to do. Um, and let's see. So I got a few other things. Some of the things that I did get is kind of like um, for later type of items that may not see later. So I decided to get it now. Um, like this is just the um, organizer hook for all of the cleaning items like um, the brooms, the mop, and like other stuff. Is it safe? Can I use it? Is it poisonous, Kobe? <laughs> All right, go, go, go. I guess he wanted to make sure that it was safe. Um, I did get some um, space bags. I got the Container Store brand because it was a couple of dollars cheaper. So anywhere I can save some money, I'm going to do it. Um, so this is just, you know, what I'm going to use to store our clothes in. Um, so this has nothing to do with the kitchen, but I just wanted to show what I got. So I got that. I got about three packs. Um, one is a variety pack and the other one is for the hanging items like the coats and like suits and things like that. 
Are these safe? Do they smell like poison, Kobe? I guess not. So I think we're okay. Uh, I got a couple of these bins. I think I got I got two of these size bins. Kobe. <laughs> I got two of these size bins. These are going to go in the cabinet. Um, I haven't figured out exactly what I'm putting in them just yet, but I'm going to figure it out once I get there. Um, and then this is going into like the bigger like food cabinet. Um, and then I got uh, these bins here. These are going to be, I think, um, I'll probably use them for like a tea bin or um, like oatmeal because um, I have like oatmeal and this bin here. So what I'm going to do is take this bin and like put it, put these smaller ones in there. And then, you know, have like, I still have a little space on the sides. I can put like little condiments or something like that in there. Um, but possibly, I don't know. I got to kind of like go around and see what fits and what doesn't. Um, I also got... got a new new um flatware organizer for the drawer um it's kind of messy in there and i realized that it does need to get organized again like our big utensils are kind of like all over the place and like other small knickknacks are all over the place so definitely needed these i wanted to get like another one of the plastic ones but the plastic ones were i think too deep and our drawer really isn't that deep, so I decided to go bamboo. And it looks nice because we already have a bamboo one in there, so basically like a swap out. So I'm hoping that this actually fits. I'm not sure if it will. If not, then I'm going to have to find uh, one that does fit and, you know, take this back. So what I'm going to do... I was gonna do the you know deep cleaning today, but I don't have the time to do it because I have to go um, and pick up my fiance soon here. So I wanted to do the deep cleaning and the organization all at once. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it tomorrow. But today I'm going to kind of like dry fit these bins and the um, flatware organizer just to make sure that it all fits. And if it doesn't, then um, either I'm going to keep it and use it for something else, or I'm just going to take it back and get something that does fit. I'm going to do measurements because there was a lot of things that I saw in the container store that I definitely realized that I needed. And it wasn't kind of like one of those impulsive buy. It was really like, I do need it, but I have to come back to make sure that it actually fits. So I'm going to be taking some measurements and then writing them down and um, then Go back to the casino store tomorrow to get everything that I need. The next day. All right, y'all. So we are here at Home Goods. It's the next day. Um, like I said in the last uh, video, that um, I was gonna have to come back and get some more bins just because I was not prepared yesterday. Didn't take any measurements, and I was just kind of going off on a limb. Um, but I have this bin that I have to take back here uh, to. <laughs> the container store uh, but um, we're gonna go into home goods first just to see if we can get some of the smaller bins for cheaper obviously and then the other stuff we'll get from the container store so i brought my fiance with me today to go shopping it's not one of those target things you know where the target husbands are sitting out in the parking lot and grilling and things like that now he's he's gonna be in there putting in some work picking out some bins and giving his feedback of yeah that's nice that, that's all he said so i didn't know this would be my job today <laughs> so anyway so he's gonna be coming with me to the container store it's gonna be like you know his first time in a container store or whatever um but yeah so i'm gonna come back show you guys what we get and then we're gonna get to the organization and the cleaning part finally you know any uh last words if i see containers in the home goods store i'm gonna lose it and if i see home goods in the <laughs> container store you'll hear my review <laughs> all right so we're gonna go ahead and get in here and shop pretty much shop till we drop <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so after shopping for all those containers and bins that I needed, uh, we came back and we pretty much got to work with clearing out the cabinets, uh, clearing off the countertops, and we was able to do this pretty quickly. Uh, didn't take too long. We really don't have too much. It's just that everything is all over the place. So I just wanted to declutter and make it a little bit neater, basically. <laughs> some time. I think I let it sit for the entire time I cleaned everything else and then I cleaned it out. to install it's just my cabinets are pretty wonky they're actually like the flimsy um, cabinet so um, I did have to do a little bit of extra modification just to make sure that this worked properly um, but anyways other than that it was pretty easy install and I got that from um, the container store I think it was like 60 bucks and they have one for the pot 
tops as well, which uh, you see here later on that I will be installing as well. <laughs> this cabinet was another one that got rearranged a little bit as well.
haven't noticed we did get a new stove. Um, we also got those bins that are hanging underneath the cabinet from Aldi's. I'll try to link everything that'll be used in the description below if I can remember. I know the containers of rice and pasta are in. They came from HomeGoods slash TJ Maxx. And we also got some new cooking utensils that I'll put in the description below. But thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on for the next video.